Hey guys, so as suggested by one of my companions, I will be doing a burrito. However, they are allergic to beans, so there will be no beans in this burrito. Our key ingredient is the flour tortilla. See, you know, how to make tortilla, you roll the dough up, uh, do some crazy tricks like this, and then you just throw it up and hope to catch it if it comes down. Hmm. Where did it go? Uh, one second, guys. Uh, just click that subscribe button real quick, and I shall be right back. Shaman, we need another one. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of One Plate Gourmet. Don't forget to leave a comment down below if you want to be responsible for a theme for another week's episode. This week we're making a beanless burrito. So uh, I'm going to make the best burrito out of all these ingredients we have here. Let's get started, shall we? Rice, cumin, garlic, oregano, salsa verde, some soy sauce, some pepper jack cheese, uh, avocado, one eight inch tortilla and steak. We're going to start with our avocado. We're going to cut it into a section which will make it easier for us to cut it into little tiny triangle like cubes, which we will then stuff in our burrito because it would be preposterous to stuff the whole thing inside of our burrito. Or you can go ahead and cut more and use the rest of them to make more burritos for you and your friends. Why be selfish when you can share it with your whole family? Next, we're going to cook the perfect fluffy rice. We're gonna start by taking our rice and just reverse stand a snap. Oh wait, forgot something. Yeah, use cilantro instead of parsley. I'll leave a card up here somewhere for you to do that. Next, we're going to move on to our steak. This is the main thing in our burrito. So we're going to just separate them from the bone like so, and then we're going to proceed to cut them into tiny sections. Now you want to make them into strips. They might not look like strips on screen, but I assure you, they are strips. Uh, the best way to do this is to cut it slicing you know, back and forward, back and front, up and down, whichever direction you slice. Add in a teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of garlic, and one teaspoon of ground cumin, and then our four tablespoons of soy sauce. And we're just going to mix these guys up for a while. No need to marinate it for too long. Next, we're going to add this to a saucepan on medium heat, with a dab of oil and we're going to cook it through and through. These are very thin slices so they cook very easily. About six minutes I give it. And you know to make sure we will taste it. Yep, taste under me. Lastly we're going to toast our tortilla on both sides, less than 30 seconds to be honest, and then bring it back to our cutting board which we will then assemble our burrito. Now the trick they don't teach you in burrito assembling school or in Chipotle if you work there is there is a certain key to it, to laying the best burrito. Three spoons of rice, make it flat like a bed. Center it, but then slightly push it off center towards the upper part of your burrito, which then you will then layer your steak pieces like so. You want to layer them with your fingers and, you know, and not a spoon so that, you know, you can have control over how well you're layering your burrito. Uh, wash your hands. Uh, chef's hands are the only tool that he has to himself. I mean, he has other tools, but they're the only tool that you have that are yours, that you don't rely on any other. So I'm talking too much for this part, but you get what I mean. Next, we are going to grade our cheese. Feel free to use any type of cheese you want. I prefer pepper jack cheese because for this recipe, it adds a little tanginess. I guess that's the word. Next, we're going to layer our avocado pieces on the side, like so, you know, uh, not on top, just on the side. You'll see why in a minute. After which, we're then going to pour over our green juice, or salsa verde, as they call it back in Mexico. And we are then going to proceed, with three spoons, and then three spoons. And then we're going to proceed to wrap our burrito sides in first, roll it like so, and voila. There you go. Looks like a little mailbox. 
Then using your knife so that we can do a nice cross section, we're going to cut it open and behold, a beanless burrito. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Like always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see the trailer for this episode, go ahead and click up here. If you want more, go ahead and click down there. Right, I gotta keep my hands still. Why isn't this working? <laughs>